Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to demonstrate how you can create a complex CSS animation such as a pulse and a spinner. And we're going to use loaders uh, just to demonstrate this quickly. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to clean up uh, the previous export so we can work with a fresh copy. And let's go back to XD. So what we have here in XD is we have a pasteboard that has our code uh, information. I'm, I'm going to dive a little bit more into that in a little more detail in a second. But if we take a look at our design, uh, what we have here is a general design with a simple icon in the middle. Uh, and it could be an image, could be text. In this particular instance, what we're doing is we're using a CSS style with the actual icons themselves. So you'll see it relatively uh, is the same generated with both artboards that we're using. So we have a spinner here that we're applying a CSS style and we have a touch icon here that we're applying a pulsar style. So if we were to remove our CSS styles and export, you'll see that what we're just going to get is a static page. So let's go ahead and just uh, take those out so we can see a demonstration. So you'll see here that we simply have a static image and we also have a static image. Now if we go back to XD and we take a look at the code that we use to animate these. So let's actually first let's undo so that we have our styles reapplied. So literally what we did was we simply added a CSS style tag. So you'll see here we have CSS style pulsar. Uh, and relatively speaking, within the spinner, we're going to have a spinner style. Now, these are reflective of the actual code that we're using to generate our CSS animation. So we can take a look at the code in a little bit more detail. You'll see that there's nothing super advanced about how these were created. Uh, to be completely honest, what we did, and let's just go back to Google, was we simply Googled CSS spinner and you can grab anything that you'd like. Uh, personally, I just went to loading.io and grabbed a couple CSS classes. Now, depending on where you're grabbing your CSS classes from, you might need to change them slightly uh, just to kind of modify and accommodate for your current project. So I simply called one of the classes spinner and I called another class pulsar. So you can grab you can create them yourself if you'd like, but you can otherwise just Google it for free and you can grab any animation that you'd like. So using these simple CSS classes, if we go back to XD, you'll see that the style tag that we've added in our code, it's actually the exact same thing. So literally now what this is doing is this is telling uh, the CSS class for spinner that to apply an animation, which will basically make it rotate. For the pulsar, it's telling it to apply an animation uh, using a type of, yeah, well, I guess you could call it a curve, uh, but each animation will now basically translate based on the percentages that we've given it to, to scale. So this will give it the pulse effect. Now, if we go back to the design, once we've actually added the styles in, we can simply export. Now you'll notice nothing happened. The reason was because we have this individual page selected. So we use the code tag within the pasteboard so it applies to everything. So let's go ahead and re-export. So this way we get all the pages. Now we have all the pages that we're looking for. So you'll see here we have our spinner. And we have our pulsing touch. Now, the reason why at first it didn't work was because we did not include the code within the individual artboard. If we had done that, then it would have been localized within that artboard. But we want this to be global for all the artboards that we're working on. Now, the reason why we want it global is so we can reuse our classes in any page. So, for instance, we have the pulsar class, which we're applying to the touch ID. But let's say we wanted the sign in to also pulse. 
So we could simply add that class here as well. And now re-export. So we ensure we have nothing selected. Now this is the benefit of using global uh, code, basically. Otherwise, you can localize it and you'll get the code that you require just for that individual artboard. So let's take a look at the spinner. So you'll see now that our text is pulsing while our actual spinner itself is rotating. So this is quick and easy CSS animations using Adobe XD, which will translate to your HTML web, uh, HTML web page without any effort.